guys, we're back with another video today. Today I'm doing a kind of Valentine's -y date night kind of look. I say attempt because the look didn't really go how I wanted, but if you like the final outcome, then keep watching. So, first off, let's start with eyes. I'm using the Lick and Lash Beauty Spice palette. This is literally my bay palette when it comes to red looks because it's basically just an all it's a dream it's an all red kind of palette it doesn't look like there's many reds actually in it but this section is like reds then you've got the pinks and then a few like orange yellows and then you've got like just all your purples so for valentine's look this is the palette to use because you find hardly any palettes that actually have good red shades and I don't find this one really stains your eyelids that much compared to like the Colourpop one so first I'm going to take this shade Hey in the crease Hey Hey it's quite subtle so you I might have to go in with the darker pink because there's a colour called bubblegum and it is beautiful but it's like your neon pink so I'm just going in lightly with hay because it's like a more lighter version of it Pretty in pink. I'm just gonna go in bubblegum because I want quite a vibrant look with this, especially if I'm gonna be adding red. Hay is quite subtle. It's like an everyday pink eye. <laughs> pink eye. That's not what we want. I'm thinking of doing a cut crease and doing the red. Originally, I thought maybe I should have done the red and then blended a bit of pink, like a little sunset kind of. But you know what? I'm digging this pink, so just because it's Valentine's, not everything has to be red. So with a nice pink lip, this would just be boom. Pink highlighter. You can keep it simple or you can go a bit extra. I haven't really planned this video out so we'll see what we end up with. Take Garnet which is basically your bright vibrant red. Next to it is Girlfriend which is more of a dark deep red. But go big or go home. I'm also doing a kind of look that I haven't done before so <laughs> pray it doesn't look crap. And now I'm going to jump to my music, so this will be sped up. My eyeshadow is literally balling up but 
Well, I'm not surprised on this side because I did do like put red on and then put concealer on top of it, try and cover it up, and then did cut grease again. So just take pictures from this side and you'll be fine. But I think it's done really. Maybe some eyeliner, mascara, lashes, and you're good to go. Am I actually going to do a full look? Am I going to put foundation on when I'm not going out anywhere? I use Colourpop's eyeliner gel that I discovered in my last video. messing around for this like I'm sitting at home I'm not going out and this eye makeup is taking two years too long so for the video I'm going to do a complete face highlighter bronzer and everything because I do want to have an inspired Valentine's look clearly this will not be the look I'll be doing because <laughs> it's just too much extra work but maybe if you actually decide to do the colours I did in the first place instead of doing that extra step of having the red underneath and actually use a pen eyeliner because I don't know what I was thinking yeah let's start with the foundation that I haven't used since I've like <laughs> I used it once and haven't used it since it's the Colourpop Snow Filter Foundation the liquid one I didn't realise how good of a match this is. I literally just remembered that I haven't put any mascara or lashes on, so... Whoops! I haven't even done eyebrows, like this video is just not going well. We can use the same concealer we used to cut our crease. You really don't need much. This concealer is so full coverage. I'm gonna go with Miss Sporty So Clear powder that I've had for like <laughs> two years. If you look like this, you might want to set or bake with translucent powder if it's going to be a date night. But this video is already annoying me, so you do you. As this look is for Valentine's and I didn't put blush on, let's put a pink, you're not going to be able to see it but it's quite pink, highlighter on. This is more of a pinky gold colour. Yeah, it's showing up gold but... Let's go back and do the brows because I'm doing everything in like the wrong order.
you want it to last all night, just put some handy dandy brow gel on top. And that's the brows done. Put some mascara on, pick a really nice curly lash. It would give you volume if you're not wearing lashes. If you are wearing lashes, the biggest, baddest lashes that you have. Out of the lips that I own, pink is like the majority of colours I have. Out of like, I only really have purples, reds and pinks are basically my colours. I've got a good solid orange shade but this is the brightest pink I own. It's definitely not for everyone, it's, yeah, it's out there. It's from Colourpop, it's a limited edition. It was um, a collab. Look at that colour. It's matte and it's drying already. That's pretty much the look. Let me find some lashes to just quickly stick on. Okay, so while that lash is like drying, maybe you could put some pink to match on top of the lash, under the lash. Just a little to add to the look. Okay, so that is the end of my video. I took 200 years to make it, but we got there in the end. Had quite a lot of mess ups, but to be honest with you, I'm kind of digging the final look. So here is a nice Valentine's -y date night look. This probably looks weird with like a beanie <laughs> and green hair, but curl your hair, whatever, and you're good to go. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this mess of a video, and until then, I'll see you guys later. Yeah.